In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I create a luster finish on a cake tier and also how I create a sparkle, an all edible sparkle finish on a cake tier as well. Okay, so starting off with one of my cake tiers, I've got this covered in fondant. I've got nice sharp edges and I have a new technique that I love on cakeheads.com if you need some help with that and want to check it out, become a member over there. But I am starting with a little glass jar and in it I'm going to put Saraceno Powder Pearl Luster. And this is an edible FDA approved luster. This is the silver luster and it's really beautiful. And again, it's edible so we don't have to worry about telling anybody to um, not eat the fondant on the cake, right? So I really love this stuff. It really worked great. And I have got some Everclear. Everclear right here. Use it for painting, grain alcohol. Yeah. You could also use a very high proof vodka, any um, high proof alcohol that is clear. Okay. So I'm going to create a paint with this. Now, this is probably the trickiest part, though it's not really that tricky. It's not a big deal. Um, but you do want to create a a good the proper thickness of your paint you don't want it too thick or it's gonna get chunky on you and you don't want it too thin or it's not going to give you good coverage right so that's why i like to put my everclear in a little eyedropper like this because i can control the amount that i add to my luster very easily so obviously i don't have nearly enough in here so i'm going to add more until i create a paint that is not too thin but it's not too thick. And you'll easily be able to figure it out if it's too thick, it will definitely get chunky on you fast. And that's the other thing is that this alcohol evaporates very quickly. So if you do add too much, just let it sit for a few minutes. <sighs> yeah, that's me dropping everything. Ugh. Um, let it sit for a few minutes and the alcohol will evaporate off a bit and your paint will be a little bit thicker. And if it's too thick, of course, just add a little bit more alcohol into it to get the right consistency. Mine is looking pretty good here. I'm liking that. So now I have a wide brush. Um, make sure there's no loose bristles on your wide. This is a pastry brush. I don't love it because sometimes my bristles fall off and that's the last one we want in cake, right? But um, get yourself a nice one where the bristles don't fall off and you'll be good. So you can already see how beautiful that is. Um, just painting it on there but I can tell it needs to be just a little bit thinner so I added a little bit more of the Everclear and I'm just brushing it on side to side right we want to keep the stroke side to side we don't want to go be going up and down and you know getting different strokes in there okay um, it's okay if you do not have full coverage on this um, because we are going to go back over and dry dust over top of this finish, but you just keep painting, keep painting like Dory, <laughs> just keep swimming, just keep painting it on. If you have chunks, you know, add a little bit more alcohol to your mixture and go over it. Just keep painting it on and eventually you'll get good coverage um, you can see i started off with good coverage and then towards the end it's a little bit thinner there but that's okay just keep going over it um, until the coverage looks pretty good to you and you can wait let it dry and then add another coat over top or you can just keep going over it until you feel like you've got good coverage you can see there's some chunkiness is happening because um, the alcohol is evaporating off my brush and just leaving dust on my brush so but that's not a big deal because when we go over it dry dusting it that'll take care of that for you okay so now for the top i am like so adding it onto the, the top just holding my brush on the edge and then turning my cake on the turntable and just kind of creating that pattern and that covers it nicely and go over it until there's good coverage 
Um, now there's a glare and so it's kind of messing with um, it looks like it's not covered very well because of the glare but it actually is covered pretty good I'm just going over some spots and my you can see that my paint is a little bit thick here which is why you can see some crusties but the glare is kind of um, making it look like it's not very good coverage but at, I'm just about finished here and then I'm going to dry dust it and the dry dusting really does shape it up it really just kind of fills in and gives it a nice even finish and when I added this to the cake it was perfect it did not look like there was any streaks or any spots where there was not good coverage it really was did look perfect okay I know it looks a little bit like there's spots here but I think that really is just the glare of the window okay so now I'm dry dusting I'm just taking a nice soft fluffy brush and just dipping it in to my luster and patting it on to the cake and this is called dry dusting it on and again this really just finishes it off gives it the great coverage that I'm looking for, makes it nice and even and a solid layer, and it really is a beautiful, beautiful finish in the end. So you just keep going and dusting it on there until you've got it all covered and looking how it should. And then um, you'll see later in pictures that it really came out beautiful when I put it all together. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make the sparkly tear. So I did the same thing, that luster finish to this tear you see here, the same thing, because I wanted that kind of silver luster underneath my um, sanding sugar here. So I have the sanding sugar. I've got my Everclear in a spray bottle now. And this um, I'll have a link in the post below to the sanding sugar I'm used but it is just clear sanding sugar and I'm just spraying over top of that luster finish the Everclear and the reason I'm using Everclear instead of water is because it evaporates quickly and I don't want it to kind of ruin my luster job here I mean it's okay because you're not going to really be able to tell if you ruin the luster job but I don't want it to start running or anything like that so I uh, um, alcohol is a good idea I'm just wetting it just enough so that my sanding sugar can stick to it and that clear sanding sugar over that luster finish just really gives it this beautiful beautiful finish I know in pictures you can't see it as well it's not as sparkly in pictures but you can see here on video the sparkle that this tier has now and the beauty of it is it's super easy to do not super expensive because the sanding sugar you can get a lot um, it's not ridiculously cheap but you can buy it kind of in bulk like this and it's not bad and you have a lot of it for future projects and it's entirely edible right so we don't have to tell our customers again don't eat the fondant on that tier it's totally ed edible and I'm just doing the sides not the top because I you know didn't want to put it on the top I like the look with it just on the side so I'm just brushing it off of the top and then if you want to even you know ratchet up the sparkle effect I've got flash dust that I'm using and I really really like this stuff and I will put a link in the post to this as well and I've just taken it out and put it into a spray pump bottle you can see how sparkly and beautiful it is it's also edible FDA approved so why wouldn't I pump some of this stuff onto my sanding sugar right I mean why not give it a little extra sparkle um, I first started just pumping it on right onto the, sh the sanding sugar and then decided hmm just in case it's not sticking well I'm gonna spray the sanding sugar with more of the Everclear, <clears throat> excuse me, with more of the Everclear. Um, just tiny sprays. We don't want anything moving around or sliding or slipping, but we just want this flash dust to stick well. And that gave it a, even a little bit more sparkle than it already had and really was such a pretty tear. I actually went to this wedding that I made this cake for, and you know, the lighting at the wedding venues really um, helps show the pretty sparkle on the tears, and that really 
really did it for me. I was really happy with that. Again, it doesn't come out very well in pictures um, because I like to get my pictures nice and light and airy. So it kind of hides the sparkle, unfortunately. But you can see the luster tier on top and then the sparkle tier here. See that luster tier against the regular white font. It really came out super pretty. I was happy with both of those tiers. So I hope that's helpful. If you want to see how I made that full cake and the wafer roses and how to build and stack your cakes properly and all kinds of other things, come on over and join the Cake Heads family. Become a member. We would love to have you. We have so much fun and learn a ton. And I will see you later.